It's a time when there are more questions than answers about the coronavirus, both in India as well as the entire world. I'm joined by Dr. Nareesh Trehan, who rightly insisted that we have the right amount of social distancing between us uh, here for this interview. And he said, in these times, this is the bad format for an interview and remote interviews are more, more better. And he's obviously got a point. The first question that I want to ask you is about the lockdown. And is this a precursor of things to come? And does it mean that we are gearing up for stage three of the virus? People are worried. They should be worried. There's no question. This is a time where you cannot be more careful and more worried. So in other words, you must be responsible. That means that there are set guidelines, protocols, which have been uh, sort of uh, displayed all over the place, whether by poster, by TV, by, by radio, by print, that today is not the time to show any bravado. You would be bordering on not only irresponsible stupidity if you take it lightly. So that's as strong a statement as I want to make about that. Right. The second thing is that, yes, we are now seeing the trends of the number of cases going up is so exponential now and which is following the normal pattern which has happened in other countries also. So that it goes slowly, slowly and then starts peaking. Now, what can we do at this stage? So first step was, we said, let's uh, disperse the workforce. If you don't have to go to work, all that stuff. But then yesterday was a significant day from that point of view. Like the prime minister put it, that instead of forcing it down your throat, we are saying do voluntary janta lockdown, right? right. And that, I think, has been very successful. So people have understood that, yes, it, if you stay home, the streets will be empty, you will not, you will be only with your family, and the chances of spread may be less by breaking this chain of people meeting each other. You don't know who's infected, who's not. Okay. So the question was, even yesterday, you could see some visuals where people were still not getting the idea and I think that needs to be reiterated that look that is not very clever in it is is bad not to do we should not have these kind of things okay should it be continued yes most definitely because if we are going to make any effect on the spread and that is what we say it's a chain effect so if we break the chain for long enough we will one do isolate people from each other so that the spread becomes less Second is the point that you are in your family, in your home, and the God forbid if somebody develops the symptoms or has been infected already, we can identify them. They can identify for their own sake and they can identify for their family's sake. Because it's actually going to spread to, you, to your near ones first. So that's the crux of the thing that we should all voluntarily, and the, fortunately the government has clamped down and state after state last night announced that we want, we are extending it, we are extending it. Right. So I think one week at a time is a good good time. I, th I, I think it will be much longer. Now, there will be many consequences to it. What happens to the people who are like in transit, people, fa families who are like workforce, you know, the laborers, they are away from their families. They can't travel right now. And actually speaking, Technically, they shouldn't travel because if they have got some exposure here and they take it home, then that's how it that's spreads. Worse. Correct. So the lockdown means don't travel. Now, they, this is where our responsibility comes. People who are their employers, people who are making homes, people who are making buildings, cons the construction workers should be allowed to stay where they are today. We must pay them. We must take, make sure they have enough food to survive for the next two weeks. And then we, sh we shall see what we do after that. So there will be an economic consequence to all this. The economic consequence, possibly we can all bear for the next week or 10 days, two weeks, but it's going to become extremely burdensome for the whole country. Now, if businesses have stopped, how do you pay wages? Right. What has today the Prime Minister is supposed to address the CEOs uh, of the country uh, in, by, rem by remote? And we don't know what announcements he's going to make, but there are a lot of expectations that maybe they have come up with a model of support for general business, supporting the people. The small sure. businesses in particular, yeah. 
small and large yeah. are all in trouble by the way yes an airline is a large large enterprise okay exactly. you ground the planes or you don't and have enough all... traffic you don't, nobody has enough cash reserves mm-hmm. we you know we all live by earning for the month and paying at the end of the month right. so and the payrolls are in some industries are more than others and to, in in healthcare payroll is 50% so where, do, where when the when the cycle stops we'll all be under a huge amount of stress so this is the time like we said it's a war it's a war against an enemy which we don't know how long it's going to last but we must fight it with all we have we must make the sacrifices that you do instead of the army fighting out on the borders we are fighting we are fighting a shadow enemy and the uh, healthcare pro- uh, uh, providers the all those people are on the front line that's the army today we are the army right and we'll need all the ammunition to fight this fight right so now i'm going to just do a quick rapid fire with you to figure out and basically answer questions they frequently ask questions by the people so that you know we can bring this directly to the people from the horse's mouth which is of course from the topmost expert in the country so who should get tested now given the new change criteria anybody who has the old old criteria still traveled abroad because people have recently come must be tested their contacts should be tested right. everybody who's come from outside must quarantine themselves quarantining means that you actually stay at home and don't bring people home don't have small dinners you quarantine has been misunderstood people yeah. are saying oh we'll have small dinners we are two three men that's not quarantine we must all block we must all lock down have virtual dinners we have, you can you can have on on skype you can have have dinners, have dinners together you can do yes. many things but do not meet each other and when you do distance yourself right second thing that there is a uh, you have to be right now if you and the second party has already tested the contacts at tenses but then somebody who has developed symptoms like cold cough fever must go see the doctor right away because there are some peculiar symptoms of it like like i told you it multiplies here and i'm from the people who have experienced it they have described it as they get burning sensation in their throat i mean like they have never seen before okay so but you don't want to wait till it get, get so if it's beginning no harm get yourself tested because the normal flu is also around so the trigger should not be so casual but let the doctor decide because the doctors have enough experience now from, from what is the normal flu and what may be beyond that so if that is the case don't hesitate to get yourself tested better to find out than not to find out have the you know where do i why where do i go to get tested for instance that's the other so, question so, so that the, people are asking so there is yeah. a whole list of government laboratories there are some hospitals there are now private laboratories also licensed to do it so you can go to any one of them with the prescription and they'll do it and the and the price has also been fixed as 4500 right so anybody who has a common cold and cough but fears that it could be more needs to go to a doctor and on the advice of the doctor then goes for testing prescription from the doctor they can get it done they can get it tested so they need a doctor's prescription to go f- and get the Correct. coronavirus test done that's the protocol done. right okay so the third question sir what about what are the preventive measures for instance i've seen a lot of people in your house itself wearing masks there was a time uh, about a week back when there were some experts advising that wearing a mask is only for people who are coughing so and you know themselves so sort of to protect so that their their cough drops don't you know transmit on to others but should we wear masks now and uh, or gloves uh, out of out of compulsion well gloves we don't know because you see it's better to wash your hands with soap and water we have already shown the six moves that you have to do to actually wash it properly or sanitize with an alcohol sanitizer right okay because that you can do easily how many times you change your gloves and all that and because they also get contaminated you can contaminate yourself with the gloves and you can contaminate others also others, yeah. gloves are for caregivers the personal prote- protective equipment is for caregivers who are taking care of pe- people who are tested po- positive and suffering so that's that's but ma- wearing masks see why we said we don't know how much protection it gives but 
we it, it is consuming mass which are in short supply so i'll yeah. give you an example see this is one of the bad parts of life that people take advantage or actually gross it's, it's bordering on criminality that you start selling one rupee mask for six rupees sure you you or, or even more in the public to the public right. i mean we have to pay six rupees that's very bad you that's anti national basically the alcohol rubs and all that it's not costing them more is in fact you you'll make more money by by volumes but why would people do stupid things like that it's and the government needs to clamp down on that government needs to make sure that the public can access these things at the right price if you if price gouging takes place and and blackmailing starts then black market is to be absolutely dealt with very 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 stringent uh, uh, sort of, yes. yeah, right now so I think that there is, if we take all these measures, we do the lockdown, especially larger population. Because say one person with it going to a village can destroy the whole village. Right. I'll give you an example. What happened? There's one lady who's come from London or UK and gone to Chandigarh, and in her home she is getting a massage. The massage lady gets it from her. The massage lady goes to her uh, her uh, little jogi jhopri cluster, and all of them get uh, are now locked down. we don't know what happened there we don't we have got to wait for 14 days to find out right so there is a big problem how it spreads the woman got it but just by giving a massage, massage to the lady to another baby yeah so these are examples which should be taken seriously what happens how, i mean you're talking about uh, self quarantining and lockdowns how long do you think these lockdowns should last we don't know yet i think it may be 3 to 4 weeks that would be extremely effective because that it will thrash out the people who are already infected see if you break break the chain it's not spreading quickly and you can contain the people who have got it who will show symptoms within 14 days if it's 100% lockdown within 14 days we may be okay so once you have isolated those people you have slowed down the spread will it completely stop or not we don't know that yet but maybe we'll bring it to half maybe one fourth because what is it that if we let it go the way say italy and iran went or some of the other european countries right. are going and i gave you the example of new york yeah. we have we don't have enough resources we don't have enough number of critical care beds we don't have equipment we don't the have government, ventilators the that's gov- the big the gov- worry the government is buying and all that but you know within a population like this you may need uh, you know hundreds of thousands of of ventilators if you take care of everybody who's going to get sick like this right if we can break the chain we may be able to do it with the modest modest resources we have is it possible in a country like india with a high population density that's my next question to you to 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 break the chain i have absolutely it's how stringent how you know people talk about draconian this is not draconian this is for your own interest these are very very strong strict rules that need to be imposed so what you basically saying is that self regulation at this place as the, i mean at this point of this virus is really the way to go and we'll keep coming back to you with mom dr rehan obviously has a busy schedule i don't want to take up more of his time but we'll meet him again and we'll get you more updates keep watching in the star times.com